What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolus TV. We have the Galaxy S8 Ultra here running One UI 5 and I wanted to go through this to just kind of show you what DeX looks like currently with One UI 5. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. There's two ways to get into it. You can get it through the settings where we kind of just were that area or you can swipe down and you will see DeX on these quick toggles. So I'm just going to tap it and it opens up decks on your tablet on your phone it's a little bit different because on your phone you have to actually connect to a monitor of some sort but on your tablet you don't have to it's built right into it and it just sits here uh, it's great if you have a keyboard and a trackpad and a mouse and all that stuff i'm just using this as is as you see it so i just wanted to walk you through this and see you kind of show you what you see so on the bottom left here well actually this is the home screen you only get i guess you only get one home screen here with all your apps, just like you would on like a Windows computer or like a Mac or something like that. <clears throat> all your apps are on here. You can long press the app if you want and select it, remove it, disable it. Depending upon what the app is, you potentially could do extra stuff. Let's see if any of these do extra stuff. Mm, doesn't look like it. I can disable it and stuff. My sh files. Okay. <clears throat> on the bottom left, this is all your apps. This is what you would see before. This, I believe, is new here. So you have the contact us, exit decks, and power. I always used to have issues with finding exit decks. <clears throat> it was always like down down here somewhere, but now it's a little bit easier to find. You can also power off your device here and contact us. When you tap contact us, I believe that's going to open up a separate app, something it's going to open up. What is this? <clears throat> oh, it opens up the Samsung members app for you. And it's in its largest state, so I could theoretically make this smaller and drag it around if I wanted to. You can see, I can also make it small. You don't have to use your pen. I'm just using the pen to make this potentially a little bit easier to use. You have your search button, which is great for searching basically anything that's on your tablet. And you can find it pretty easy. Type it in. You're good to go. Recent apps button, just like you would on a Galaxy device, uh, like a, a phone or something. It's the same thing. You get your home button as well and your back button. So if you have something in here and you're right here and you're like, I want to go back, you can just tap that and it will go back without having to go all the way up here to control it. So that's kind of helpful. It's something you don't get on a, a Windows computer. At the bottom, you have your taskbar. And for instance, let's just open up the Play Store. Actually, let's open up something I don't have opened. Uh, let's open up Google. So I'm going to open Google here, and if I want, if I press and hold on it, I can pin the shortcut to the taskbar so it's always there, or if I close it, it goes away. So if you want extra apps down here, maybe like, like for instance, I'm always on um, YouTube, so I'm tapping on YouTube. I'm going to open up YouTube. YouTube's now open, and like I said earlier, if I want to tag this so it stays here, pin shortcut, and then next time I close it, it stays there because I pinned it. It's always going to be there. It's a quick way to to have it so that you can always have that app open when need be. You don't have to go looking for it. You have your screenshot button. So if whatever I have open, maybe I have YouTube open, it'll take a screenshot of the page for you and you can edit it if you want or save it or write on it or do whatever you want. So it's kind of cool to be able to do something like that. You have your volume button. You can control your volume right here at the bottom. You can tap the three dots and control your other volumes your notifications, your ringtones, all that kind of stuff. Next up is notifications. So if I tap on that, I, I can click on these to go directly into them. So for instance, I got a notification from Slay. I'll tap on that and I can respond to it or whatever. And it goes away. And I can also swipe these away. So I get this one. So I can swipe that away if I want. I can. So it's, it's just an easy way to, or I'm like, oh, I've installed the Fly Delta app. I can tap on that and it'll open up the Fly Delta app so it can control your notifications. Same way you would with Android. Next would be these buttons right here, which are your quick toggles. And you can cycle through your quick toggles and control your brightness of your display. You have your battery percentage. You have your battery. You have your calendar, which brings up a little calendar. Let's close these windows. Press and hold on your home screen. You can clean up the page. You can zoom in. Let's see. So I can control the zoom if I want. So this looks smaller or larger, depending upon like what I'm looking at on the screen. If you like it to be, if you have bad eyesight or good eyesight, you can change your wallpaper. 
clean up the page so you can see items on the screen will be rearranged to fill any empty spaces between them. So if I didn't have any, if I had like an app that was like down here, I'll just move that real quick. Uh, it would clean it up and put them all in a row. And everything else that you might do, like, you know, swipe down doesn't work. Swiping to the left or the right, swiping up doesn't work. It's literally a desktop operating system if you haven't used this before. Um, it's pretty helpful. You can search for your apps when you go into your app screen. So check it out, guys, if you haven't already. Dex is really cool, especially on their tablets. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.